Hi guys, this is my first English video, so I hope it will help you in this moment. It's a structural analysis of this geometry and the, the geometry it's made by composite material I made the geometry in Katia and then I import the geometry to the to the workbench to the ANSYS workbench and then I open in mechanical APDL so let's begin here we're going to add the element type we're going to select shell and this model in the description of the video I'm going to to put the link to the lab the lab the the paper that contain the information of this model and why we're going to use this model for this exercise then material properties material models structural linear plastic orthotropic uh, 69 motion ratio We're going to add three sections. We're going to name this one the superior. Here in this exercise, I I have eight layers in two parts of the geometry and one layer in the top when I close this window I'm going to show you where are each one so the orientation is 45 Here we select the plane. Let's put the summary. Let's save this section and we are going to create a new one. The 
name I'm going to put inferior ID two. We are going to have I forget to save the last one. Don't forget, don't forget to save. <laughs> Let's meet a new one. This is the last one. Name of ID3. This one just have four layers. This one is the superior, this one is the inferior, and this one in, is the top. So let's choose this one, the superior, okay, let's pick the Controls in areas. Choose 
this one 0 0.21 Let's the last area and mesh areas. There is. And then, if you want to visualize the layers, we're going to go to size and shape. Put this one in on. And that's it. Let me. this one here we can see the eight layers here four layers in the top and eight layers in this part the next step is to Define the lot. We are going to apply first one is the displacement. I'm going to choose this one in lines. And pick this one. Uh, okay, all the way of freedom, the value is. Zero. This is because I want to make this part the fixed support. So that's the reason I choose the displacement on these lines zero. We are going to have the force in this 
node. The force is in the y axis is one, two, five, six. Here the force is two five two negative and the last one is here positive five hundred. what happened I hope all this okay let's see what happened with our analysis can see the, the form and on the format So I hope this is useful for you. Let them hear what we have to say before the dream fades away. Apologize again, again for my poor English. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. I will be up uh, different videos of finite element analysis and CFD. So, thanks for watching. See you the next time.